So let's do it this way. Let's, let's make this a little more organized. So typically when we do these types of problems, we're gonna have this all set up in one cell. So I'm gonna make a P column and a Q column. And now for my first problem, I need the negation of Q. So I'm gonna put that column in here as well. And then for number 14, we want P implies the negation of Q. So we already have a P, we have a Q, we need the negation of Q, and then we'll go from there. And then the last one, we'll, we'll kind of fill this one in too. So again, P implies Q, those eight should always be the same. True, true, false, false. And then we have true, false, true, false. We always start with that because those are the possible outcomes. That's what we have to work with from the get-go. Then we fill in the negation of Q. So the negation of Q is just simply the opposite of the column that we're right next to. So the negation of Q should just all be the opposite of those. So true, we switch to false. False, we switch to true. True to false and false to true. Now for my P implies negation of Q, I'm gonna go P implies the negation of Q. So true implies false. My first one is gonna be false. That's True implies false is always false. Next one, true implies true. That one should be true. Next one, we have false implies false is true. And then we have false implies true is true. So there's your truth tra table. False, true, true, true. Okay, now the original conditional statement that we've done a bunch of times already and I can do it down here too. P implies Q. We knew was true. So it's true implies true is true. True implies false is false. And then true, true. Okay. For this problem right here, for this problem right here, it's just the negation of that. So if I take that and I negate the whole thing, P implies Q, all I'm doing is changing the values from that table right there. So it's false. True, false, false, done, that's it. So for the lesson, again, our learning goals were to be able to write biconditionals, be able to write def definition as conditionals or biconditionals, and be able to fill in a truth table. Your guys' assignment is posted. You guys should be able to do this. Remember, always ask questions if you have any. Thanks, guys, and good